This video introduces the basic and low-level Python network attacks course. I'm Sam Baum. I have been teaching technology and security for 17 years here in San Francisco, and I've given talks and hands-on training at DEF CON, HOPE, B-Sides, and many other uh, conferences and colleges. And you can see all my class materials on my website or contact me on Twitter. So here's what this course will cover. After getting set up with a virtual machine to work with, you'll start doing port scanning. Uh, you can do basic scans and you can connect to hidden ports with port knocking. Then we'll use HTTP to make our own programs that fetch web pages and perform brute force attacks, trying many names and passwords to break into websites. Then we'll go back down to TCP and UDP, the fundamental protocols for all networking and you'll learn to control them with Scapy. So you can write your own low-level programs that fetch web pages and perform specialized network attacks like Firewalk, where you control the TTL to cause a packet to expire at a precise location relative to the target. Then we'll go on to other network attacks, ARC poisoning to redirect traffic, uh, slow loris to freeze Apache web servers, and SMB loris to freeze Windows file servers and others. And after that, we'll cover some defenses. We'll make a simple honeypot and several small intrusion detection systems that alert the user when certain attacks are in progress. You do not need to have any experience programming to take this course. Python is an excellent beginner's language. It helps if you have some familiarity with networking, but it's not necessary. We will review the networking concepts you need. You can run any computer or any operating system as long as you can run a virtual machine. Most of the lessons will use one or two Kali Linux virtual machines. So you will learn basic Python programming here and common network protocols, and then you'll learn the most common network attacks and a few network defenses. Python is the language of choice for hackers. It's one of the top 10 languages, number five in the survey I looked at, because it's easy to use. It's very popular. This is because there is a large community of people contributing libraries to Python, and libraries like Scapy make it easy to do almost anything. In addition, Python is not a mere crutch. If you become an advanced user, it is an advanced object-oriented language with many features. You can make multi-threaded code. You can do lots of good things in Python. So you can continue beyond this course and learn much more about it. And you will not have to abandon it as you move forward. So that's the, a quick summary of what you're going to look forward to.